Hey, it's Alex here from alexfigures.com. So I've just released my latest article on why vegetarian and vegan diets aren't the best for long-term health. Uh, and I go into some pretty detailed reasons and explanations as to uh, why this is the case. So please check out the whole blog um, on my site. But I do want to go through a few things first. So as you can see, I'm in my garden here. I grow a lot of vegetables, I eat a lot of vegetables and, and fruits as well, um, but I also do eat meat and a uh, big reason for this is because I am focused on improving my health and my performance, both sporting performance and cognitive performance. So what's the issue with vegetarian diets and, and vegan diets? Well, let's run through a few points. Um, the main, well the first thing is around protein, alright, so one of the issues is it's actually quite hard to get adequate sources or uh, intake of protein on a vegetarian and vegan diet okay so obviously you're not eating muscle meats organ meats bone broth even eggs dairy cheeses things like that if you're a, if you're a vegan or, or not in dairy um, protein deficiency can lead to all sorts of issues like skin skin and bone issues um, hair issues uh, poor recovery suppressed immune function another issue is around the quality of protein you're getting so uh, protein is made up of building blocks called amino acids and these amino acids um, is like 20 odd amino acids, right? And so for a protein to be created you need uh, one of all the, one of each of these amino acids. Now muscle meats, animal products have complete uh, complete amino acid profile whereas a lot of the vegetarian plant-based um, protein sources are incomplete uh, incomplete in regards to their amino acid count so this means you've got to mis mix and match various sources all right the issue with this is uh, you can you can end up with deficiencies in various amino acids um, spe specifically if you're missing things like glycine from uh, bone broth plays an important role in health and, and bone health and gut health. There's also side effects from having lots of vegetarian, um, ve vegan, vegetarian based protein sources. So, you know, lots of beans, um, nuts, seeds, that sort of thing. Often they're high in PUFAs, polyunsaturated fats, uh, the high in lectins, anti-nutrients, which can cause malabsorption of nutrients and minerals in the body. And also they're really high in, in carbohydrates. So if someone's trying to lower the carbohydrate intake, it, it can be hard on a vegetarian diet. There's also issues around fat. So it's really hard to get quality uh, saturated fats and cholesterols when you're on a vegan or a vegetarian diet. Uh, two important fats are CLA and DHA. They can be hard to consume or very hard to um, consume on a vegan diet in particular. And then there's also a lot of fat soluble vitamins that you'll be missing out on when you're not eating animal fats. Linking in the vitamins and mineral issues, there are some important minerals and vitamins that are hard to consume on a vegan and vegetarian diet. Examples include iron, zinc, calcium, vitamin K, uh, vitamin D, vitamin B12 and vitamin A. And sure you can often get these forms through plant-based uh, foods, you know like spinach, um, you know uh, fermented foods, um, you know various grains and whatnot have these vitamins in but often they're the uh, they're not well absorbed or they're in quantities that are quite low especially compared to like animal products you know take liver for instance it's often regarded as nature's multivitamin because it's not only chock full of vitamins and minerals but it's it's uh, forms of these minerals that are easily absorbed finally there's an issue with like um, things like creatine choline carnosine um, Three, they're called the four C's and I go into a lot of detail on this in the blog so check that out these are all hard to consume on on a vegan and even a vegetarian diet and then finally this is a long-term issue so a lot of people will switch from what's known as the standard diet standard western diet and they'll clean up their act and they'll go on what they think is a healthy vegan or a vegetarian diet and in the short term they feel great a big reason is this because of this is because they've changed to like an organic diet and I've cut out a lot of the the processed seed oils and um, junk food and you know sugar salts whatever else is, was being consumed uh, previously so there's a big um big change in the diet and uh, they see the short-term benefits of this but then on longer term there's a lot of issues that's when you know sex hormones down regulated um, they have skin issues immune issues may, maybe energy issues it's when they start showing issue, um, signs of malabsorption 
So it's really the long-term issue with these sort of diets. I understand like a, a short one or two, three week diet on, on a vegetarian diet can be great. But uh, when that turns into three months or three years, that's generally when a lot of problems come into, into play. So I've got nothing against um, vegan or, or vegetarian diets. Uh, some of my best friends are vegan. Um, and again, I spend a lot of time growing my own fruit and veggies and I eat a lot of them myself. Um, but I do recognize the importance of quality meat, uh, bone broth, eggs, shell, shellfish organ meats as well and uh, I'm not saying you should be eating these all the time and um, you know that you have to use the the feedlot and growth hormone uh, injected animals or anything like that because that's something that uh, I'm quite passionate about and I will seek out you know quality meats quality eggs from sustainable um, well farmed sources all right and so that's my choice uh, but with my clients that I work with who come to me for health gains then it is as well. Uh, it is an area um, where if they are caught up in a vegetarian or vegan diet, it is something that I'll educate them on and uh, hopefully get them eating a little bit more fish, meat, eggs, even even milk, uh, incorporating these things into the diet. So that's all for me. Uh, head to alexvegas.com and check out my article on, on vegan diets and vegetarian diets and you can read the full eight reasons why it is essential to eat meat and dairy and cheese and all those other good things in your diet. Take care. Bye.